there, there's really there's a couple that I'm two guys that I really think were really really good hires uh, this year. One was a uh, Damian Craig for LSU. I, I think that was huge um, in the fact that that's going to pay dividends with Cam Cameron now allowing him to come into the field room to work with Harris and work with him on the field as well as working with the wide receivers. Um, I think that could pay a huge dividends for Brandon Harris. And if that happens, um, look for uh, LSU to have uh, you know more to their attack than just Fournette. And I think that could be the key to get LSU over the hump. Um, the other guy I'm looking at is Pittman out of Georgia. I think that was a huge hire for them. Um, a guy that we know in Arkansas as well as uh, Tennessee knows. Um, that he is a guy that can really coach up some offensive line talent. I mean, he goes out, he's a monster on the recruiting trail. Um, not only that, he's a player's coach, and so guys really relate to him. Um, I've had the privilege of interviewing him a couple times, and he is just a really cool cat. That's about the only way I can explain it. And, uh, you know, so I really, I really enjoyed talking with him, and I think that's the reason why players uh, work so well with him. So um, those would be two of the guys that I'm thinking would probably – the better position coaches uh, that were hired here in the off season. So basically, anybody that Chad meets and would like to go out and have a beverage with is one of the top coaches in the SEC. That's that's like one of the criteria. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I have to have a course banquet, and then we uh, we sit down and we have a conversation, and you know that's just how how things start, man. You know that that's how you get these relationships built, and uh, you know. Right, Dave. Any other thoughts on uh, the best assistants around the league? We know it's the the highest paid coaching contingent in college football by far. The coordinators get paid like head coaches do elsewhere, and it trickles down to the assistants across the board. Right. Uh, we mentioned Sam Pittman, so he was one of mine. I think I was going to go with uh, at the you know expense of probably sounding biased a little bit. I'll go with Torian Gray for you know, def defensive back coach for Florida. Uh, you know, even with Hargraves and Neal out, Florida returns a whole slew of, uh, you know, secondary. Florida hasn't hurt for secondary guys for years now. It's just been that way. Uh, but they even got a boost when, uh, you know, Gray came from Virginia Tech. Uh, during his time there, he coached five All-Americans and ten NFL draft picks. Uh, you know, Cam Chancellor was there. You know, Kyle Kendall Fuller, Brandon Flowers, you know, in his first season as defensive back coach there at Virginia Tech, you know, ranked first in pass defense and only allowed five passing touchdowns, the fewest in the nation. In his ten seasons there, they ranked in the top 15 in pass defense six times, top 10 in completion percentage allowed eight times. Uh, top 15 in opponent passer rating eight times. I mean, he he knows how to coach DBs, and now he has, you know, it's hard to say that he'll have, a, you know, a lot more talent at Florida, but he will, and because that's Florida has proven that they know how to churn out DBs for years now. So pairing Gray with the talent he can get at Florida to me just makes that one of the, if not best hires of the, in the uh, SEC at a, at a position. Mark, I follow Chris in Georgia, too, so I appreciate the question. I agree with uh, Chad and David. Sam Pittman and Torian Gary are probably the two best uh, position hires in the SEC this all season. Uh, I also had the money and Craig in my top five. I'll hit that in a minute. The reason I think Torian Gray is so great is he's come from that Bud Foster defense, uh, so he knows how to coach defense. I think Bud Foster is probably the best defensive coordinator in college football. Uh, Sam Pittman, uh, look for how well he works with Jim Chaney. If you look at the Pittman style of coaching the offensive line, it fits very nicely with Jim Chaney's uh, systems and schemes. So that's why I think that's such a good hire. Here's another. Here I've got two more for you to look out for. Herb Hand, offensive line at Auburn. He leaves Penn State, just like Bob Shoup, uh, the new defensive coordinator of Tennessee, left James Franklin's staff, reunites with Gus Malzahn. Rhett Lashley's under a lot of pressure, uh, the offensive coordinator at Auburn. If Malzahn lets Lashley go due to pressure, which I don't think he will, but if he does, Herb Hand might be a natural selection to take over offensive coordinator for that offense uh, if Malzahn stays and gets rid of Lashley. He's reunited with Malzahn. I think that's probably the top three. I think DeMoney and Craig was probably the fourth best. Chad, one reason why DeMoney and Craig is one of the top five, he's got to replace Frank Wilson at LSU, who went to be the head coach at UTSA. Craig will step in and fill that recruiting void uh, and that void in the locker room as an assistant coach. The fifth one I'll tell you to look out for is Larry Scott, tight ends coach at Tennessee, uh, left Miami. He was the interim head coach. He'll be able to recruit South Florida. He's a big recruiter in South Florida. We've talked before, Butch Jones has done a good job of geographically recruiting different places, Midwest, Texas, uh, the D.C., Northern Virginia area. 
one area Tennessee has not recruited well uh, in the last five years since the former area, uh, former area, former era is Florida, probably because they've lost to Florida for 12, uh, 11 straight years. So uh, Larry Scott has that South Florida recruiting ped pedigree. That's going to help Tennessee both as a recruiter and a position coach. He was also the interim head coach, so he knows how to run a program. Another example, Butch Jones putting together a really good uh, coaching staff there. Those are the five uh, best hires, I would tell you. Probably Ray and Pittman uh, vying for the best hire between those two.